this weekend, Spurs play AFC Wimbledon. And obviously, some memories, Dean, of the FA Cup for you. Yes, yeah, certainly so. Um, great, good memories. I've had a lot of um, a lot of good times in the FA Cup, and it's a, obviously a, a huge um, traditional uh, competition for uh, for clubs. And and obviously, AFC Wimbledon um, playing Tottenham well, brings back memories from when I was in the Premier League with Wimbledon. Um, great memories, and it's a big game, big game for for both clubs. And Tottenham, you know well known over the years as a, a successful cup winning team and lots of memories and talking points about certain goals which people have scored and and obviously Wimbledon you know back in the day of beating you know Liverpool you know the underdogs the David and Goliath moment um, amazing story for Wimbledon I'm delighted that they're going back to play a lane yeah, um, for the fans yeah. Really delighted for the fans, um, and that will be an emotional return. Um, so I joined there in '92. We were tenants with uh, Palace, so the identity will be restored back um, for for the fans of, of Wimbledon, which is um, a special time, I believe. And um, I'm delighted for them, for the people who have really worked hard at um, restoring that club, and yeah. and. Um, you know, I, I wish them every success in the move back. So, but a cup game against Tottenham, you know, it all depends on the day who turns up. Um, squad selection by Tottenham as well. I think they'll take it serious. Um, they'll see it as another avenue to to get into Europe. Well, they've and, got you know, uh, they're playing Swansea on the Tuesday and West Ham on the Thursday, mm. and then Wimbledon on, on the uh, the Sunday. Right? So the squad will so, be really yeah. tested. AFC, you know, Wimbledon will be licking their lips playing Tottenham yeah, and sure. you know they want that banana skin yeah. um, they'll be the underdogs again but it uh, should be a great day for the fans no, that's it. and you know though a lot of people say the FA Cup doesn't hold what it used to for you it's still very much <sighs> the number one absolutely position. absolutely you know the um, the dreams of, of when the, the, the minnows start um, to where it gets to to the spectacle of you know, Wembley um, and what that brings for, for an emotional attachment for, for many clubs and players. To score in the FA Cup is amazing. Yeah. So, um, you know, and for the fans, you know, we were talking about 40 with Dad, seeing their team win the FA Cup, amazing. So, I think also being at Wembley, it will give an ideal opportunity for dads to take their kids. Absolutely, uh, absolutely. Uh, uh, and not just dads, as we keep yeah. saying, you know, it's, it's it's the significant other person in that per in that in that child's um, life at that moment who takes them to a game. That um, they become the father figure. They become the father figure, sure. and there are many aunts, uncles, grandparents, mums who who have to be the significant figure for certain circumstances in their lives. That they they are the one who becomes the the sort of parent. So. Um, so uh, they are the winners in this because when they, there's no better feeling than walking away with your son to a football match and winning, than or your son or your daughter even. So and um, you know what a great bonding that is. Yeah, no, definitely. Well, no doubt we'll still talk after. We will. The result, <laughs> whatever the result.